Hey y'all, this is Cyber Eagle, and welcome back to Escape Game V2. I hope y'all are having a great day. I know I am. Um, had a great time at church this morning in the Lord's house. Now, getting ready to get a video for y'all. I do want to say first, by the way, um, if y'all are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I do try to get a variety of stuff up, uh, at least one video daily. And... Um, if you enjoy seeing me play videos like this, Escape Game V2, this is part two of it, by the way. Um, I recorded part one a few days ago. But anyway, uh, please make sure to leave a like on the video. Um, I do need to say real quick, on a serious note, I've noticed over the past, well, basically since late December, early January, well, since sometime in December, it seems like y'all are generally really losing interest in my Minecraft videos. So there's a while I will still play, it'd be a, there is a good chance I'm going to be following uh, suit with some of the uh, bigger name YouTubers and kind of moving away from it a little. It does seem like it's like I said, y'all aren't as interested, and uh, unfortunately. Um, my plans for that big uh, sci-fi role play didn't play out due to technical difficulties with the server. And it was specifically some mods that were kind of important to on the server. So, um, I honestly can't tell y'all what I'll be playing this week because I have no idea myself. Um, stay tuned for unpredictability. Anyway, let's do this. All right. Let's see what we got here. C10, B6, E4, I3. I have no idea what that means. Wait. Shoot. Sorry, my fingers were off center for, or offset from where they should be. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, that's room six. I forgot. Sorry, it's been a few days. Y'all know since I played this. Oh, wait. C. Oh, I think I get it. C10, B6, E4, I3. Don't know if any of y'all are familiar with map reading, but that's a grid like you'll find on a map system or anything with um, mathematics. I will if you're doing some graphing in math. Let's see, let me, wait. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. All right. C ten. Oh, I also just realized something. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. I realized I um, had, was using the wrong profile. I needed to get uh, Optifine on. I didn't think about it until I realized I didn't have my uh, Optifine zoom. And I was going to make sure that I was at the right spot. Yep. Oh, wait. C10. Okay. Pretty sure. Oh. Okay, I may be going into uh, creative after a while if I missed. B6. Okay. B6. Alright. I think that's right about here. Okay, that one I can safely say went to the right spot. E4 and I3. Wait, what? Oh, okay. E4. At least though, praise the Lord, if something does go wrong, I'll know exactly where the mistake was. Yes! Praise the Lord, it actually did make it. Funny thing is, I'd read comments on the map that some people had trouble with that one. But it 
long as you understand how to read go a uh, grid system it's not that bad granted it would have admittedly been a problem if I'd say missed all right looks like a big area let's check it out this is of course room eight all right some dirt dirt wait okay I thought I saw something in there let's check oh, okay interesting wait what huh oh I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do but let's see if I can't e pearl through I also just realized ah got a diamond anyway I also just realized I should have kept that or got some more and some extra ender pearls and tried to see if I could use them to uh, glitch through the door but I do want to play this fairly got two diamonds all right let's see here definitely wishing I had more of those e pearls right about now Nope, definitely nothing under there or there. Wait a minute. I'm going to do something I may or may not regret later. Oops. Okay. Oh, so they both end up over there anyway, don't they? Huh. Okay, so apparently that doesn't have anything to do with it. I don't think. Hmm. Wait. Let me try something real quick. I may or may not have heard something. Yep. I don't know if I'm more well rested or what. This seems e these levels seem easier than the first six. Oh shoot. Hmm. Okay. Not much to see out here. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I got that. Anything back here? No. Nope. Interesting. Oh, it just hit me though. There's some chests down here that open. Okay, Flint. It's going to have me make a bow when it's some arrows. Yep. I mean, this should be. Yep, feathers. There's my crafting table. All right. Let's see, let me craft the bow right now. Uh, I had to think of me, it's pretty sure I got that backwards. It's been a while since I've had to craft one. So please bear with me. Let's see here. There we go. Should have known that makes more sense with the shape. All right. Feathers. Uh, 
Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, right. I was doing it upside down the first time. All right. Or the first several times, actually. Whoa. I almost forgot how many arrows you get. All right, so that means I apparently have a target somewhere that I'm supposed to shoot at. What is it though? Supposed to be something over here that I'm not seeing. Okay, now the challenge has definitely come back again after the little break there. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Let me get rid of that now. I have to admit, it is very helpful they put the recipes in in 1.12 or whatever version they first did it on. By the way, I have no idea why I did that just now. I'm just looking around to see since apparently there's something I missed. Because I have no idea right this minute what I'm supposed to be shooting at. Hmm. You know what? I'll be right back. Okay. I figured it out. You see this button? I've got to shoot that button. Let's do it. Oh shoot. Thought I had it pressed. Shoot. Bullseye. Okay, now what? Ah, okay. Room 10. Alrighty. Oh. I am so sorry, y'all. I haven't had the, uh, re I just drew a lot. It just now hit me. I haven't had the resource pack on this entire time. I didn't need, I didn't even think about it. Here I pass through th three rooms now. Yeah. All right, should be on any time now. And yep, any time now. No, I was just so focused. Oh yeah, there we go. I didn't even realize it till I looked up and thought about the fact that that should have been a. Uh, microscope or something not a lever all right wait Okay, there are other tones. Anything in this chest yet? Nope. 
To be totally honest, I'm not a big fan of this specific texture pack, so that may have unintentionally, I promise, been a big reason why I didn't have it on. I just didn't care enough to think about it. Oh. Okay. Room 11. I have to admit, I'm really enjoying this. Okay. Diamond. Oh, wait. Any changes? No. Oh, wait a minute. Let me try something here. Nope. Apparently which chest I have the diamond in doesn't seem to make a difference. Wait. Is this the room I just... Okay, yeah, that is the way I just came. You know, let me close that door so that I don't confuse myself. As embarrassing as that was. Alright, where did I put the diamond? There it is. Let's see. Anything around here that would be helpful? Hmm. Okay, there's got to be something I'm missing here. At least, praise the Lord, this is the next to last room. Hmm. Like I said, this will, um, or after this video, since I already had this escape room in progress and wanted to finish it, and probably would have whether I was on or off camera, or as doing it on or off camera, I wanted to, uh, Alright, anyway, I, uh, I'm going to be mixing things up some more since y'all seem to be bored with Minecraft. And admittedly, there's not too awful much more I can do that I haven't already done. I don't know how many times. Hmm. Okay, what am I missing here? Taking the resource pack off just a second to see if there's something I maybe just haven't, or that maybe the textures are preventing me from noticing. I don't know if that counts as cheating or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Nope, not seeing any ladders or anything. Alright, I'll put it back on to keep the nice pretty textures. You know, I have too many resource packs installed. I'm not even using pretty much any of these except for the... Well, no, I'm not even using any of this one I had just for uh, Wimpika City change some stuff up before I found out how to uh, use uh, Pixelmon, or actually it was Pixelmon that changed up before I found out how to use it without the uh, uh, Technic launcher, which I really, really don't like. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so after messing around with this a little bit, I finally ended up tossing the diamond I just noticed I had this way. Uh, not going to lie, I might have checked out the redstone to see after I cheated a little bit there after getting frustrated figuring out what to do. But uh, let's see here. 
I wonder. Now that I actually didn't see. I just kind of took a guess when I saw the first button. All right. Room 12. The final room. And if I knew exactly how much of the song I could get away with singing without getting in trouble, I'd start seeing the final countdown. You know, the fun part is I have no idea if this has anything to do with it. Wait. Zero. One. Huh. No items on me. Wait, I just heard something. Okay, it tells me there's got to be something special about this combo. Because I'm not hearing any sounds with any other combination. Besides just all of them flipped on. Oh, come on, man. Okay, this texture pack's getting annoying. I was going to try its be try my best to leave it on for the rest of the map, especially since it's the last level, but I gotta look around here without it, see if maybe I can find something that's causing me a miss. Wait. Paper? Okay. Oh! 
Wait, why didn't that show up before? Of course, to be fair, I probably didn't look at it enough before that be why. By the way, for anybody uh, comments, I know enough to know that. Wait, it's a pressure plate. Anyway, I know enough to know that you can't smelt uh, sugar cane. I was just trying to throw at it, throw whatever I could at it. Actually, change anything? Okay, for the looks of it, all that does is give me more sugar cane for paper, which is useful to know. Okay, so that's obviously not the solution. Hmm. That's gotta be the doorway out of here. Let's see what happens if I put it here. Even that that door is where it is, I, I'm pretty sure there's got to be something important about it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, why did I do that? I get it now. Oh, and all it did was give me my paper back. Alright, I got it. I need to use the sand villa and name the paper or something. What? I have no earthly idea. Wait a minute. Paper from there. Zero and one. What am I missing here? What have if I went? Okay, what if I named one zero and one of them one? Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Zero zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero one. All right.
It'd be interesting to know what that's binary for. Okay, did I misread that? Zero zero one zero zero one zero one. Okay, if that's the solution, then why didn't want a, a door open at least? I'm running low on levels. If I have to I'll give myself some bottles of enchanting so I can keep trying. Definitely not in. Okay, this is definitely not very intuitive. Wasn't mean to hit that one. Still trying to figure out what this pressure plate does. Okay, just save y'all the boredom. I'll be back. Found it. Uh, once again, I did have to check the red, so there was a minor error that. Basically, if y'all noticed, let me show you this real quick. You see how this blink? Oh. Okay, the way it was, it's correct now, but the way it was doing it was blinking twice for the for, for zero. And that was what messed it up a little bit. I thought it was two zeros and finally worked out that it was one. Alright, I'm assuming now I'm supposed to get these TNT blocks to blow up somehow. Apparently. Oh. Oh, congratulations, you passed all levels. You can explore now. Oh yeah, let me uh, see how this looks with the resource pack on. Sorry, but it's like I said, I just don't... It looks cool, like for an adventure map or something, but with a puzzle map where you need to uh, figure st notice things, it's getting a little tricky because there were just some things like a ladder in one level I remember from the last video that just didn't stand out to me. Anyway, give me a second. We'll go ahead and explore with it on. All right. Oh, cool. The amount of redstone that went into this is really, really impressive. Well, that command blocks and everything. That's why I, I, while there were, of course, some mistakes, I don't blame the map creator at all. Man, the face on the sheep are definitely interesting. Okay, I like the chickens, though. They look more like chickens. Hmm. Anyway, um, let me jump over. And yes, I did have, like I said, I did have to cheat a bit to check the redstone over there. As soon as I figured out there was something wrong. By the way, here's the room 7 we started in, and then room 8. Oh, and um, when I said I should have, uh, I will show y'all this real quick. When I said that I should have tried to see what would happen if I got enough e-pearls to glitch through. If this door was closed, I could have, uh, there's a glitch that, granted, it's also hard to do, but if you can get right up next to a door... Oh wait, do you know if you can get right up next to a locked iron door and you just spam Ender Pearls? If you don't die, you'll actually make it. 
But uh, that's it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to sub to my channel. Um, by the way, really, really fun map, despite the little bit of trouble I had. Um, I did enjoy it. And I wouldn't mind playing some more escape maps either. But uh, I guess that's going to be it. So have a great day, y'all.